Well hello, it's been such a long time since I did a video, it's been about 8 or 9 weeks and there have been different reasons for that, but I'm here now, um, and in this video I'm just going to chill out and enjoy it and uh, waffle and do whatever I want. So, uh, there's been a couple of different reasons uh, why I've not been doing videos. One of them, and the main one, is because I inherited a urgent project, uh, a professional project. Um, because I'm a programmer, I'm a database programmer, that's my job, and uh, I got this urgent project and I had to do it fast, so I had to pump a lot of time into it, and I just felt as though I didn't have time for YouTube to do the videos as much anymore. And a couple of other reasons as well, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it's actually quite exhausting doing YouTube videos, I mean, not physically exhausting, but it becomes wearisome after a while, you kind of get sick of the editing and all that sort of stuff, it's, it's very time consuming and you have to think of new ideas and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, um, I got in touch with a company called IC Station, and in fact they got in touch with me, and they've got in touch with me before, uh, maybe about a year ago or so, and these Chinese companies, in fact I won't say Chinese, but these Asian companies, they do get in touch quite a lot, and they, um, they ask you to do videos and blah blah blah, they try and send you stuff, and of course they want you to mention their name. Anyway, this particular company, IC Station, I like them because they don't put pressure on. Um, and they've basically just said to me, hey, we'd love you to do a video for us, uh, choose whatever you want, you know. Or sometimes they'll say, you know, we, we'd like you to have this, try this maybe, see if you want to do a video on this, are you interested in this? So it's quite a cool thing. And um, I said, yeah, okay, I'll, uh, I'll choose some stuff. And they sent it, no pressure, so I'm happy to work with them. Um... Anyway, so this is the first product. They sent me a few different products. This is the first one. And um, so it says here model, ohm, and all this sort of stuff. So I'll tell you what it is. It's an ohm meter. Ohm meter? Ometer? I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. I'm going to say ohm meter. It measures ohms, which is, of course, resistance. And um, yeah, 200 ohms. That's quite low. So. I'm thinking, I wonder what precision this has got. If this has got some good um, decimal points, this is going to be very interesting. Um, because it could basically form a sort of uh, micro-ohm meter, if that's the right word. Anyway, so ohms. It says here 200R, which means 200 ohms. Uh, to power it, it's AC 8 to 12 volts, uh, which is basically like a, a multimeter. What else have we got here? That's about it. So I'll open it up. Let's see what we've got. Okay. <coughs> so it's kind of quite basic. There's a little display there. And it does look like there could be potential for a lot of decimal points. So we have, what do we have? We have something here, we have a potentiometer which I think will be to adjust it, which I'm not going to mess about with. Maybe it's been factory adjusted, but it's not been glued, which is interesting. But anyway, there's a microcontroller it, look, it looks like. It says HT7106CM44A1825. I think that's some sort of microcontroller, which will be the brains of this thing. Some of the components here, capacitor, capacitor, another capacitor, and then some of the some of the little bits and pieces. Um, I'm not going to bother to open that up because I don't want to mess around with it. But you can see that it's just an LCD. Some nice little clip to push it into something, and we get this as well. We get this little thing, which is obviously the power and the probe. So black and red, that'll be power, and these will be the probes. So. Let me zoom in, let's power this up and uh, see what happens. So I'm going to give it, I've got my DC power supply here, I'm going to give it 9 volts. I think that will be sufficient. So 9 volts. And there we are, right. We have something straight away. Of course. <laughs> and it says 1, right, which means, is it? I think there's a name for that. I think it's called overload something. I don't know. Anyway, one means nothing. I'll get some resistors. So I'm interested in the precision of this. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a lot of precision? It looks like there may be one or two digits, but 
I've got my resistors and I've just pulled out the draw for 1 to 100 ohms because that's what I'm interested in. Now I'm going to go for some nice low ones in a minute. But for now, let's go for 100 ohms. I could do some blue tack really, couldn't I? You know, to tack that to there, but as soon as I have any blue tack, the kids uh, start playing with it and never see it again. Anyway, 100 ohms. And let's see what happens here. 100 ohms. Let's just touch this. And it says. Ninety nine point five. Now that's because it's moving because I'm not holding on to it properly. Let's try it now. Ninety nine point three. I don't know if you can see that. Ninety nine point three. Now if I put it over here, I wonder if it'll be like ninety nine point six. No. Oh, okay. You know what? I was my line of reasoning there was that there's a little bit more wire here, so I was thinking I could get an extra fraction. No, 99.3. Okay. So, it gives precision to a tenth of an ohm, which isn't amazing precision, but it does what it says on the box. It is a, it is a um, ohm meter that does 200 ohms, so can't complain. So these ones are 3 ohms. Let's see what it says. It'll say 3 point something, probably. Yeah, 3.2 or 3.1. Good. Let me just put these in the box. Good. So I'll put those things back and um, and that's that. So this is the little ohm meter. Uh, maximum 200 ohms. I got it from IC Station. I'll probably put the link in the description um, for you and IC Station. And um, yeah, short little video. I hope you enjoyed it and it's nice to be back. Thanks for watching. Bye.